Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me on a rather foggy morning just by Munich Airport. Today I'm heading to Cars and Coffee Munich. Now I've not even owned my new Supra yet for 48 hours. Today is my third day of ownership, having picked it up in London just two days ago, driven it over to Germany 600 kilometers to the Nürburgring, then yesterday having done a lap and continued about 600 kilometers more to where you join me today in Munich. Now I've actually just given the car a rinse down. Of of course, having driven that far, especially on the autobahns, this thing was completely covered in bugs at the front and you can't turn up to a supercar event like that. So this car has been collected, done a road trip, been around the ring, and today it's going to a supercar event. And I know what you're thinking, the Supra is not a supercar, but it is gonna be in some epic company. So let me just tell you about some plans I've actually got for the car already before we head on over to Cars and Coffee Munich. There's something that I neglected to mention about this car when I was at the Nürburgring with it, and that's to do with the badge at the back. Now, the fun thing about this is that the Supra badge actually has those curves in the S, which are modeled from corners on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Corners, of course, that this car has now driven. I think it was probably the first A90 edition, the launch edition of the fifth generation Supra here in Europe, of which there are only 90 cars, to even go around the ring in total, which is kind of cool. And I tell you what else was the first for me was washing a satin paintwork car. The first satin car I've ever owned, it was actually really easy to wash and then dry. The other thing I want to tell you guys about is number plates. I've mentioned a few times about my plate at the front, which was a bit of a last minute solution. I don't intend it to stay there permanently. It doesn't really work and we need to be a little bit more, I guess, in line with the correct laws than that. But what people have been doing to avoid having to drill here into the front bumper to mount it up there, which I just can't do, it would be criminal on a car like this is buying a bracket that attaches here into the towing eye he says if I can open this up there we go give that a pull so you can get a bracket that mounts here and will hold the plate in fact let me just come around to get the new plates that I have for the car which are in the boot at the moment which is annoying because there's no button to actually open it you have to use the key or press the button inside but we've got the plate here the road teaches the people and the people make the cars from Akio Toyota and that's hopefully gonna hang well kind of there when I've mounted it up properly. So that's the intention, working on that, got a bracket on order, that's gonna be going on in the not too distant future. Let's pop that back away for the moment, head around. How many kilometers do I actually have on this thing now? Given, like I said, it's not even 48 hours old. Yes, there are some water drops on the outside. Those will dry when we get driving. Inside here, one, two, 25, I think I saw. Service due in a long, long time. Press the board computer button, there we go. 12, 25 kilometers already. But let's head over then and go join the guys at Cars and Coffee Munich. Now the way today is gonna to work is that we're heading to a nearby golf club for the private part of Cars and Coffee Munich. I don't quite know what cars are gonna be there. Plenty of supercars and hopefully some hypercars as well. Then we have a group convoy to drive over together to the BMW Welt in Munich, the BMW World, which is where the public part of the event is going to be. And that's where it's gonna get pretty crazy. But I tell you what, despite having some countryside roads in front of us, despite also being a little bit foggy, unfortunately, I can't open the taps up yet. This car is still being run in. And I've talk a lot about this by the book and I like to follow the book for warranty for servicing for the longevity of the engine it says to only drive up to four and a half thousand rpm and a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour for the first 2,000 kilometers so it is slightly torture to actually do this because I would love to drive this car much much harder but that will all come I did tell you what though I think it has a lot more power than it says it does so I hope in the future we're going to be able to dyno this do plenty more with it and well enjoy some of these roads and be able to stretch the legs a little bit more at the moment, I guess, just following that van up ahead to go find the supercars at Cars and Coffee Munich. Exactly as we had hoped, the sun has burnt off the fog and it looks like we're in store for a very sunny, very nice day today. But I tell you what, check this out. On the display here, I've been driving this car for 13 hours and 50 minutes already in two days almost seven hours a day sitting in this seat. Anyway, I'm hearing exciting things about what cars are gonna be here not long to go. In fact, three kilometers, and then we'll be able to check it all out. We have arrived then, quite clearly, because there are photographers lurking just outside, but this is where we are coming to. So we will head directly inside. 
and see what's up. And here we are then. I know exactly where oh, we're going no. to, but we're on the lawn, as always with Cars and Coffee, an amazing display of cars. We're following in some Astons. We've got a Kravovich over to our left. Lots of Michelin flags everywhere. We can spot some Corvettes, MGs up front. There's gonna be a lot to take in. We've actually got, if you can just see in the mirror, a Diablo SE30 Viola behind us, which is pretty cool as well. So let's squeeze on through to my parking spot, which is gonna be just here. Look over there. You can see Koenigsegg, Ford GT, P1. We're gonna go straight over to have a look at those. There's a line of Ferraris and Porsches. I bet, is that a CTR3 maybe? I can see a lot of cars, 675 LT. Um, yeah, this is exactly how to do it. So you get these two parts of the event. They're kind of chilled out garden, golf club vibe. And then later on, we will have the like busy, busy, busy mayhem. Oh, that's nice. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. We'll go and have a look at something very green in a moment. But we'll get the busyness and the mayhem later on. Um, so right, let me uh, just find my spot and get parked up just here so we can watch everything happening. I'm heading to go see something, but that's a small distraction for a moment. A Rosso Bia SV Coupe. Oh, look at that plate as well. That's pretty epic. Anyway, we've got some Corvettes, Astons, SLS, AMG, Black Series. Two of them, two of them, one after the other. That's one of my favorite cars in the world, as many of you will know from my channel. And there are two just cruising in one after the other. Such a beast. So cool, so nice. Dawn, Urus, 488, across the Corvette, Astons, Viper, I'm parked up just there. Let's come through this way, where there are hypercars aplenty, and also Pininfarina Batista is here, 2,000 horsepower electric car, 2,300 newton meters, that thing. I wasn't expecting to see today. We've got the AMGs over that way, so presumably that's where the SLS will park. Wow, We've got all cool. the Porsches over there, Lambos, but look at this. Look at this, 488 Pista, the green, with gold wheels, yellow stripes and calipers, that is a speck and a half. That's stunning. Really, really cool. Next to the Speciale, different generations of hardcore Ferrari V8s. And then we've got the hypercars. We've got Jerk Collectors, SLR, Sterling Moss. This event is arranged by Jerk Collector with cars and coffee. We've got Teddy, we've got the Sterling Moss, the P1, the Koenigsegg, Agira X in the satin black. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Then the event doors all lining up. That's, I love this thing. Shot a video with this car before. You'll have seen this car before and I've actually been out in that car before as well. All lined up here together. There's gonna be a lot of sounds of engines today. That's cool. Gallardo Super Trofeo Stradale. Those are actually really rare. You barely see them out and about at all. It's one of the more hardcore versions that they ever made of the LP560 heading over towards the Lambos at the back. We've got quite an AMG crew going on here. AMG GTRs, GTCs, SLS Roadster, and the SLS Blacks, which are just monumentally epic. And of course, I think just about everybody knows that there will be a GTR version of the Black Series to come at some point soon. And I can't wait to see more of that. We're just being teased with it at the moment. The Pro has to come before that. And in fact, my GTR Pro is not actually very far away now. More news on that to come very, very soon too. We also have the arrival of Schmark 150 with I Am Too Cool, the M2 competition with the Akrapovich exhaust, hence joining the Akrapovich lineup. Oh yeah, there we go. A little bit louder, valves open. <laughs> alongside the GT3 and the M2 that we have there. There are going to be lots of noises later on of all of these different cars. And then there is my little Supra chilling on the lawn. GT3 makes me miss my old 991.2 GT3 ever so slightly. That does sound good though. Over here from Monaco, very international event actually. Urus just parked off the road at the moment. We've got cars from everywhere taking part. Definitely feeling like the event doors are swarming the events today. That's quite loud as well. The head's behind the Batista, sitting pretty here on the lawn. What was I saying then about event doors? Bright green looking very nice. Wing on the back, that's an original LP700. Again, sounding very loud. C63 Black Series as well. We're followed in by a Brabus G63, previous generation. Unusual color for a 600 LT. I think that's Volcano Orange. Same color actually as the P1 over the other side. Those would look cool together. 
Let's have a super quick run through of the cars here. We've got a 570S, 720, 675, 600LT, GT3, Tacart 911, GT4, GT3, .2, GT3 RS, .1, GT3 RS, Turbo S, Roof CTR3. Then we've got Performante, Performante, Hurricane Evo, Spider, Super Trofeo Stradale, Diablo, Performante. Then we come through towards the Ferraris, where we've got a 488 Spider, Scuderia, California TF12, Scuderia, 360 Spider, 488, 488. The next line of Lambos, we've got Aventador, Aventador S, Aventador S, SV, Aventador S, V. Then of course we've got the hypercars and I also just heard some revving in the background so let's see what's about to come on in. Things just got a whole lot louder thanks in part to Rana with the SV roof. <laughs> Mr. Car Blogger. Hello, good morning. That's quite noisy. Morning for you. I'm a big fan of yours, by the way. Oh, thank nice you very time. much. Nice Dude, that's you. mad. That's <laughs> well. 720s's don't normally sound that good. <laughs> well, no. Five 570s. This thing is so loud. My goodness. That was painfully loud, and uh, everybody was kind of chasing after it, which is not the best thing to do. All your eardrums are going to get blown into smithereens. <laughs> so loud. Gunshots on the GTS. Satin black with the pink accents. Oh no, it's like a, a crocodile skin kind of thing. We have a Mansori S63 Coupe and a Mansori Phantom 8. Look at that thing, such a beast. <laughs> the Phantom 8 is an incredible car. Mansori kit. Yeah, mental. Well, look at this then. Novatec in Largo 488 Spider White Body. It's pretty mental. What do we have next? And I believe we might have a Bugatti coming in a second. That is a Porsche GT2 RS then, with a crazy wrap on it, and behind it is an Aventador SVJ. Behind the golf buggies, we have the Chiron. Mr. Cars and Coffee is leading the chase. <laughs> and then, coming here, the Bugatti Chiron. Oh, that's nice, white, that's satin white with burgundy carbon, dark red carbon fiber. We'll see it out in the sunshine as well. Very, very, very nice. Grumbling away as it rolls past. Ooh, you don't often hear a Chiron revving. Hurricane Evo spider behind that too. <laughs> a little bit louder with the V10. Look at that then. Look at the color of the carbon fiber in the sunshine. The wheels match too. It's now parking as part of this hypercar lineup, which is, well, getting even crazier. It's a Chiron Sport. The four round exhaust tailpipes. Very nice. Now that is a beast. The Novatec F12 Enlargo. I love this thing ever since they came out. Absolutely mega. Sounds monumental. Such a cool sound as well. Grumbly, raw, old school. And what else? There's the Novatec 488 Spider. So cool. Yeah. This lineup is pretty mad actually. Cars and coffee, completely doing it in the best way possible as always. For a bit of fun, I'm gonna take the Supra and go and park it over with the hypercars. Gotta get that photo right with probably what is actually, to be honest, the cheapest car attending this entire event, but well, the newest and in some ways the most unique. Um, oh, unlock it, keyless. And just jump in here. Oh, it got hot already. Into life, right, let's take it around. I would say that's a pretty cool lineup. Hey, me, what are you doing? Why, why not? You are an intruder, what are you doing here? This is the Michelin hypercar lineup. Well, this car's got Michelins on it. I've got Pilot Super Sports. <laughs> By the way, that A12 is quite nice as well. It's, you mean, I, why not? I, I kick you, go away. <laughs> Afterwards, let me get a photo because this lineup is really cool. Joe Collectors, SLR, all of that, and the Supra. Yeah, nice. 
All right then, Mr. Carlson Coffee was just playing, but let's get this out of the way and leave that line up for some better photos for everyone else. You can hear the sounds. Cars are getting ready to head off then for the convoy over towards BMW. Speaking of which, we have a very nice line of BMWs here. We've been having lunch just inside. We've got an M8 competition convertible, BMW Z8, M4 CS, M4 GTS, i8 Roadster, and check out the Phantom 8 at the end of the line. It's literally got a surfboard or something on the roof of it. That's crazy. And there's a uh, dawn here. Dog walking past, but this is Rev Central. I think I need to head over back towards my car, see what's happening, because we'll have a drive about half an hour, 45 minutes, I think, from here over towards BMW Velt, the home of BMW where I picked up the M5 about a year and a half ago now, and then uh, it'll be time to continue. Let's see this. Have a look at this up close, actually. Look at this. Look at that. That's insane. Uh, revs galore. Cars everywhere. Mine is hiding behind a golf buggy. I'm amazed by how much revving there is right now. And how loud all of that is. That sounds like the Black Speciale eh? here at the moment. <laughs> Just echoing around this area. What are these guys doing? This is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> this all got a little bit silly. All the cars are now singing out. Look at the colour of that. Look at the front splitter on that as well. Mega. Leading the charge, the McLaren P1, followed by the Rana SV Roadster followed by the Jack Electra SV Roadster, followed by the Koenigsegg Agera, then the Green Pista. Well, this is quite some convoy that is all setting off right now, which I'm going to at some point probably try and cheekily jump into with the Supra. I really like this one. <laughs> with all competition of course with all of the M performance parts on it anyway there's a line of cars now oh yes I don't think I actually mentioned the Ford GT just casually all right okay into the Supra we go then it's time to roll on out we might be skipping across the grass to get to the very front of course the Agira's here with Essa <laughs> but yeah <laughs> this is hilarious after you Zed so we're going to be joining this line. Let's uh, head on out. Zed's Lee on Instagram, by the way, in front of us in the Hurricane, in the bright green. We've actually got the Koenigsegg behind us, which is stupidly cool. I feel like a bit of an imposter doing this in the Supra. It's almost a bit naughty, but hey, um, why not? Oh, look at that line in front. Look at that. Colorful Skittles or what? Cars, and I'm going to be a little bit naughty as well right now. Up in front of us then is a convoy that starts with a P1 and a Speciale. Just in front of us we've got three Lambos. Behind me right now we have a blue F12 and we are of course cruising in the Toyota Supra. Um, as Mr. Carsacoffee said, this is a bit of an imposter in this lineup. Thank you everyone for being hospitable to me. I feel like I probably shouldn't have done this, but it's brand new. It's so cool to have the Supra here and to be part of it all. And well, as we've said, we're heading towards the BMW Velt, which is 20 minutes more or so to go. Not a long drive and um, yeah, good times, right? Good times. Oh, what a sound. That was epic, but we got the red light. 
So we had to wait a moment and then try and catch up. Um, it was worth it for the sounds of everybody blasting away there. But it does mean that now we've got some catching up to do. <laughs> so what's about to happen? They're all going straight to the Autobahn, which we know has a really bad traffic jam. We're gonna go a different route and hopefully that's gonna be quicker. Wow, the Koenig's egg sounds like such a beast. So, like I said, they're all going Autobahn. We're gonna follow Waze, which I've talked about in many videos, and I think we're gonna be able to cut some cues. I think, fingers crossed. Here we are then at the BMW Velt, and look at how busy this is. There are so many people around, and I think in some strange way, this is kind of bringing this car home. I mean, yeah, Toyota are Japanese, and it was built by Magna Stair in Austria, but under the skin, there's a lot of BMW about it, and this is literally the home of BMW, the BMW Velt, or BMW World in English, and oh my goodness, there are so many people here. But where is actually the entrance? I, I don't even really know. I'm just, I can hear Aventadors. I can hear revving Aventadors. We need to work out where we actually turn in and uh, go one step at a time. I can see the Ford GT. That means this is, oh, and I can see an Aventador as well. That means this is where, oh look, other side of the road, P1. The Jack Collector P1, <laughs> behind the crowds. <laughs> So we're trying to work out the best way around here. The main action is clearly over to the other side of the road, but I'm thinking to go further up and find somewhere else to turn around and then come back down again. All we can hear is just revving and noise and craziness. Um, <laughs> who even knows how this works? Hey, how's it going? It's quite hard to get a sense of this on video. There's a lot going on. The number of people here, even up on the bridge in front, but we've basically been driving down, going past just what seems like endless crowds of people. Of course, we're following Rana's jet, which has been revving endlessly as well. I'm a bit worried it's going to have melted parts of the front of my bumper, which would not be ideal at all. But I think we have an entrance just down here and we come into the car park. Um, but we will see how this goes. Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? <laughs> we got it. Is that a Supra? <laughs> so good. So funny. Okay, maybe it's just me that finds that, that funny. My goodness, this is just insane. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at how this is all set up. Mr. Cars and Coffee. Yeah, how's it going? This is crazy. It's crazy. It's you crazy. have shut down the BMW belt. Where do we go? Down the side? Yeah, yeah. Drive around. Wow. So, a nice big open area. Is this where we do donuts? Yeah. Oh, it's not. BMW wouldn't appreciate and nor would my car that's not running, sadly. But we have got here much quicker than many of the cars that were in front of us. Our route was definitely the best route. That's quite funny how that's played out. It's just amusingly noisy with cars everywhere. Like, oh, the sound of that 812, I'm not sure if you can hear it over this 570 and whatever else is happening. Traffic jam. All very cool. Right, Urus and Dawn. 
down. Red Aventador SBs today. One of the cars of the day. I love that plate. That is literally the ultimate German number plate. And then the BMW. And then something noisy. And I'm kind of blocking the traffic. Need to get out of the way. This is my. Oh, that's cool. Hyacinth Red AMG GTR. Really, really nice spec. Okay. Stand out of the way. It's actually a really good choice. And GTR go the other way. That's kind of loud as well. Oh my goodness, good way to get the shots. What has happened here? 430 going to rear. <laughs> the Vista. The noisy performante. M4 GTSs are actually quite loud when they rev. Dot 2 RS in lizard green. Then we've got the Dot 2 GT3 in red. you go something is revving. Was that the RA Spider? I think so at the back there. Just non-stop engine sounds. Followed by the Urus. <laughs> that thing is so loud. There's a line of cars now. Oh there's the Bugatti. Just rolling in. Sharon has arrived. Which is rather quiet when you've just been listening to that G-Wagon. That's going to head all the way around the tower here, the spindle, tornado kind of building. This thing, I just love this. Silver SLS AMG Black Series. And followed by that egg. Gera X. This thing is just not... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so Security guys had enough. That event was so loud. <laughs> I just realized that that R8 is pretty cool with a roof box on it. is there's a ferrari enzo that turned up that i don't think anybody really saw taking part i heard it came around and then yeah just like that we've got a ferrari enzo the car named after the company founder himself just chilling outside bmw welt things have started to settle down a touch the chaos is slowly residing but what a day this has been cars and coffee munich experiencing the supra taking part with all of the supercars and the hypercars, the most incredible of lineups, that Enzo at the end just adding and really I think being the icing on the cake alongside all of the others. This thing though, I enjoy it so much. It's such a talking point. Everybody I think has an opinion about the Super. I'm sure you guys know what I mean by this. People love it, people hate it. Everybody has some kind of thoughts about this new car and it's really actually been quite intriguing to have it as part of this event. So a big thanks to Mr. Carson Coffee and the team. I've enjoyed today an awful lot. I hope you've enjoyed coming along for the ride 
to see what it's all been about. That's it though, the first event for the Supra on day three of ownership, but this is still just the start of the adventures to come with this car. <laughs> Believe me, there are going to be lots of them. That's it for now though, I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers!